Hello guys, so in this video I will teach you how to build the strongest uh, economy in Stronghold Crusader 2 and I will do it in a uh, multiplayer match in Stronghold Crusader 2 just to prove you how efficient it is and that it does work. Um, these are the settings for the match, are some uh, medium settings, let's say, not too much gold, enough peace time so you won't uh, get rushed in the very beginning and that's pretty much it let's let's start I don't know anything about my opponent it's just a random guy from uh, from internet but with my tactic I have uh, huge chances to to win I mean the chances are let's say 80% or or something like that because it does not rely on uh, on tactics but wait uh, we have to place the stockpile I will place the stockpile a bit close to the grass and of course a bit close to the to the stone but closer to the grass something like this okay now we need the granary okay let's buy this much food let's give them no food and now guys you should know that you have to build you have to make a lot of wood camps because you need to produce wood in the very beginning Not enough work and is um, this building. well if you don't uh, buy wood and build a lot of um, a lot of wood camps, you're gonna have issues in uh, in starting your economy. Can't place that there, so no. just build it. Now we need three houses. Wait, did I place my granary that over there? Growing, Biggest idiot ever. Uh, the granary should be placed here. Okay, I will um, I will destroy it and I will place it here when I'll start producing food. But for now, I will not produce any food, guys. I will produce food later, after 10 minutes or something. Now, I will like to produce, guess what? Beer, okay? So, to get popularity, I will give ale to my peasants. Alright. Good. I just built enough uh, hop farms to sustain um, the production of ale. Anyway, let's sell this food to get uh, to get some extra gold. And with the gold, let's buy wood. And let's sell the stone and let's buy wood. Let's also sell the pitch, the iron, and let's buy wood, of course. With the wood that we just got, I will place... Wait, why not? Okay. I will place um, this. But let's give them little food for now because I need peasants. And with zero popularity, the peasants won't leave but won't come into the castle either. So it's better to... To give them little food, food make sure dwindling. make sure you don't run out of any type of food. Always have four types of food in the granary because you get plus 15 popularity. All right, but for now let's just wait for the guys with the beer to get here and let's build let's build the inn, guys. As far as you can from everything. With the inn you will get a uh, little popularity. Okay, let's give them no more food. Let's build another house to get plus 10 popularity. If you have free beds, you get plus 10 popularity or plus 5, whatever. Um, but, guys, with my tactic, using my tactic, okay, you must start. always have free beds to get this extra plus 10 popularity. It's very important because you are working at the limit with the popularity. Okay, we start with the hop production, I mean with the beer production. We produce little beer and we give our peasants beer. But of course, we can give them a bit more beer and we can ask for taxes. And that's what we're gonna do in the very beginning. So, let's produce even more beer. Alright. Um, my tactic, however, works with... Um, works with uh, the number of peasants that you have the more peasants you have the better guys 
keep that in mind this is my opponent if you have a lot of peasants you will have enough gold to collect taxes from from more people and more people equals more money from taxes just keep that in mind okay we have little beer production of course you need as much popularity as you can get and what's another way to get popularity well it could be by giving food to your peasants but you don't want to give them food because you don't produce any at this point or you could give them candles i mean serve uh, church services and you can simply do that not enough gold by um well i sold all the stone that's why i have to not enough workers available to run this building produce i have to produce stone okay let's sell a little beer it's it's no problem if you have if you have uh, a lot of peasants guys that's the point of of my tactic to have a lot of peasants all right at this point we're doing just great <clears throat> we can ask even for more um taxes and with the money that you get we get from the taxes we're gonna make Not enough we're gonna buy wood all right uh, always check your um, beer production the more peasants you have the more beer you have to give them so it's not okay i mean you have to always increase your beer production and your candle production and your food production uh we will keep the food production at normal rations when uh, we are pr we will produce it we will produce uh bread because you get a lot of it and you don't occupy too much space on the grass we're trying to be as efficient as we can be all right now let's start producing candles as well Not enough on the other side of the of the stockpile all right we get negative popularity <clears throat> because we don't have uh plus 10 popularity from uh, from the housing so we have to build another house okay we have enough popularity right now what i'm interested in is to get 100 pieces of stone after i got that i will not care about anything all right let's make another house and let's increase this um candle production so mm, i don't like how i placed that one so guys first build a lot of wood camps after that start your beer production after you have an okay beer production build the inn and give them uh feasting rations and after you can sustain all your peasants with feasting rations uh, at, uh, at the ale just start producing candles of course and uh, make sure you have um, make sure you have enough stones to build a church as soon as uh, as soon as your as your candle production uh, starts working okay I'm getting the, the stone that I need oh come on I hate misplacing buildings and you should well you should build your stuffs in a certain way I mean Can't don't just randomly down. build everything because you will lose production okay I'm getting a bit more stone and I'll be able to build a church uh, but of course keep in mind that for the church you need gold so try to get gold uh, let's ask for for a lot of taxes just to get the, the necessary gold okay that's it now that we can build a church okay we can good guys we can give them fisting rations from uh with church services zealous services all right and right now we can ask for even more taxes but what's the problem i don't have the plus 10 popularity from the housing so i will make few more 
houses. This is how it works and right now we get a lot of gold as you can see. Okay guys, let's, well not yet, not yet. I will get rid of the wood production because I won't need it anymore very soon. So, um, let's increase the, the candle production by a little. Good. Also, the beer production must be taken care of. Alright. I just make sure that I will be able to sustain, I mean, I will increase the production of hops. And I just want to make sure that, that I will be able to sustain the, the production, you know. I will increase the number of people that I will have. I will start the um, stone production right now. I mean the, the food production right now. As you can see, I'm destroying all these guys because I don't need them anymore. I mean, you could leave them. Leave some of them. But I just need the grass to, to build this beautiful farms must be placed on grass buildings okay now you need farms how many how many farms well five is more than enough okay ah <sighs> would need it okay I just got five can't place that there Milord. it's a good amount Good, now I produce enough hops and we're doing pretty okay guys. We're doing pretty okay at this point. So let's sell a few more churches. Uh, candles. Oh, the beer production is quite low. Let's hope that it's gonna, it's gonna work just fine. I need to buy more wood. A lot of it because I will start the food production, beer production to be more precise. I'll destroy that uh, that granary very soon. Okay. Oh, I need another house to get uh, plus ten popularity. Good. Now, guys. Okay, I'm getting more hops. Beautiful. Not enough gold. Ah, we just need to make bakeries. Like this. Us. Uh, I mean, eight bakeries won't be like a lot at this point. Let's see about this guy. Well, he's not doing too great. <laughs> but okay. It's okay. Let's see, we produce enough beer, we produce enough candles to sustain our, uh, our people, to give them fisting rations. And we get a lot of gold from taxes. Not enough gold. Is it simple, guys? What they think about my little tactic? Hmm? It's sim is it simple? Is it nice? How is it? Okay, let's destroy that. And let's replace the granary here. The granary is empty, Simon. And let's buy all these types of food in order to be able to sustain what we have at this point. But guys. To get more peasants, you should start producing stone, a lot of it. I'm selling the extra things that I have. Can't place that there, my lord. Good. I think I should be I should be able to give them normal rations in order to ask for even more taxes right now. Um, and about the stone production. Not enough workers available to run this building. There will be enough workers. Okay, you should know that you can also produce. Not enough wood, my lord. 
You can also produce weapons, guys. Oh, what? I'm oh, okay. Now let's just give them normal rations and plus five taxes. Not enough workers available to run this building. Okay, the peace time is almost over. We just need to build something to stop the enemy from simply getting inside our our castle, something like that. We are also gonna need units. Ready and waiting. Immediately, sir. Yes, sir. Good. Our boars grow impatient. <laughs> you are the greatest lord. I am the greatest lord. It's pretty clear that what I do is better. He has few things over there. Okay, he built a tower. I can build a tower myself. All right, uh, the population is increasing because I have the stone quarries, which require a lot of people. And once with the population that increases, my gold increases too. Okay, I noticed that I need a bit more. I mean, I need more wheat farms. It's up to you how you manage your production, guys. But as you can see, you always need to increase your production of everything. What needed, your lordship? Your mark, sire? Just give us the target. Okay. We will sell the stone. Also, a good thing from the, the stone production is the amount of population that we get. You know, you will um, clearly get more money from the taxes. So far, so good. We get a lot of gold. Okay, he's defending himself a little, <laughs> but look, my economy is, oh, wait a second, I need more houses, guys, I kind of reached the limit. Can't place that there, my lord. That's why I wasn't getting any more peasants. <sighs> I've got gold, what I don't have is peasants, that's why I'm gonna give them less. Okay. Okay, the food production is great, but I don't think I can sustain double rations. Alright. I'm increasing the cattle production and everything else. Um, you should defend yourself against assassins. Okay. Anyway, I won't attack this guy because this guy is not related with um, with attacking. It's just related with economy. What else you can do, guys? You can uh, make your iron production, and you can convert the iron into weapons. For that. For that you will get a lot of gold, I mean, Not if you sell weapons, you get a very huge amount of gold, and you totally, you totally should do that. Can't place that there, my lord. Alright, and uh, just build an armory somewhere around, let's say, here and start some armor workshops here make sure you produce armors 
and not I mean armors maces or swords these things sell better than anything else okay just convert everything and you will see that your economy is, is gonna increase you can you can build the market not enough gold you can build a market and uh, auto sell the extra stuff that you have for example stone everything above 350 you can buy automatically buy wood 400 always you can auto sell beer everything above 150 and candles you know you will get some extra gold this way now you can see that the the production of everything increased I get a lot of gold just from from the taxes you see my economy is so strong at the moment and what does this guy have he has nothing okay I beat him I can easily crush him he has a lot of horse archers well if he has 20 horse archers I can easily make let's see 20 Sassanid Knights and Sassanid Knights will overwhelm those horse archers or you can make five Sassanid Knights and kill those horse archers Whatever you want guys. You can simply kill him. It's up to you. Your economy is built You are invincible at this point You can also start producing um, Always make use of all the resources you have around here. Make use of the pitch, for example. Look, I have here a lot of pitch. I have to make use of it and sell the pitch. This way, you will sell the, ex the, 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 the pitch, you know. You will get here and you will sell the... Where is that? The pitch. You will auto sell it and simply your income is going to increase. Look how fast the gold production is increasing. This is the economy guys and this guy is still working. Why? Because he started with the food production. It's wrong to start with the food production. It's wrong. Because it takes too much gold for nothing. I mean too much wood for nothing. You just waste time. This was it guys. I hope it was helpful. Also make sure to place the houses near the cape. I hope it was helpful and if it was like it. If you have any questions, leave a comment and I will answer as fast as I can. And also, if you have any suggestions, let me know. Bye-bye.